G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. It's been a long time as usual between me appearing in front of the camera. A couple of years ago, uh, in 2016, May I think it was, I was checking last night, I was talking about this game, Tribal, from Mana Press. <clears throat> During that video, might have done a couple, I can't quite remember. I mentioned that I'd have some videos coming up and I did you know, start filming some things, but I never really finished anything and then, you know, my file management is terrible and I lost that footage. Anyway, fast forward a couple of years, you know, I'm still interested in the game. I've played it on and off between uh, that video and now, but it's time, since I'm playing again, to get some, you know, how to play and, you know, let's learn about tribal videos done. Now, I filmed some videos last night, they turned into this massive ramble, you know, 48 minutes for me to explain movement and combat when you know really it's super simple so what I'm going to do in this series of videos is break everything down into just short little videos so if you're looking for something specific then you can watch the video about movement if you're looking for you know um, information about initiative it'll be there in the initiative video if you're looking for things about skills it'll be there in the skills video now whilst I do plan or, or, or hope that you know they'll be fairly comprehensive and you know you'll get a very good idea of the game and probably be able to play it please do go and grab a copy of the rule book. It's only 28 pages, it's not a complex game, and you know, you'll know you pick up how to play the game by watching these videos. But to help support the guys from Mana Press in you know, producing more games, you know they've got several supplements um, for Tribal, uh, the latest one being Brutal, there's another one, Primeval, they're working on another one called Pacifica, possibly Pacifica, not 100% sure, they make other games as well. Um, so whilst you will learn how to play the game, and you know, um, not necessarily require the rule book for um, playing the game. Um, I won't run through everything in it, specifically so you have to, you know, at least go and buy it, but please do support them. All the links and stuff will be in the, in the descriptions of these videos, so that's a very long introduction. Let's have a look at what we need to play a game of Tribal. So I've got here on the table some figures. I've got, um, you know, a unit of five warriors here, a unit of five warriors here, my chief in the middle, two champions. Now I've based all my figures slightly differently. You don't need to base your figures differently. I just like the way that you know it helps me, you know, identify what's on the table. My chief on a 40 mil base with two guys. Typically you don't need the two guys. Again, it just looks cool. My champions or heroes on uh, that's this guy here. Uh, on um, 30 mil bases and my warriors on uh, uh, 25 mil bases. You'll need a deck of cards, a standard ordinary deck of cards, and in fact it's useful to have two. So I've got a deck of black cards here, and I've also got a deck of cards exactly the same size with red backs. I say it's useful to have two decks because if you're coming up to play somebody at your club or you know wherever, they might have a different deck of cards. Now the cards as we'll learn are used to do everything in the game. There's no tape measures, there's no dice, you use the deck of cards for movement, you know, combat, initiative, everything. And the cards need to be the same size. So it's useful to have two decks that have different colored backs so you can identify, you know, which card belongs to which deck. Um, but more specifically, the cards should be the same size so that everybody's moving at the same speed. You'll also need a, you know, a handful of tokens these are going to help us track our honor during the game, and I, I like to use uh, tokens. In fact, I have some just off camera here uh, that are a couple of different colors to help me track some of the things that happen during the game. You don't need to do that. I just find it helpful, and you know, I'll explain those as we get to those examples during you know these videos that we're doing. This is all you need. This here is a four point or a four honor point uh, tribal warband. Generally, you won't need too many more figures than this. Maybe another unit of five guys. Maybe another champion. Um, you know, we'll we'll see how we put a warband together uh, shortly. But you know, typically you wouldn't need any more than twenty figures. What have I got here? Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus another group of five guys is eighteen. Maybe another champion, nineteen. You know, you shouldn't need more than twenty figures to play tribal. And this is all we're going to need, obviously, and our copy of the rule book. Is, is our miniatures, a deck of cards, and some tokens. That's all you'll need to play the game. I hope you enjoy the videos coming up shortly. Let's have a look at um, 
probably uh, the initiative phase, how do we begin a turn, and then we'll go progressively through each of the various parts of the game. Thanks for tuning in, I hope you find it useful. If you've got any questions, put them in the description below, or um, it, also in the description, there'll be a whole bunch of links off to Mana Press and Facebook pages and you know Twitter accounts and all that sort of business. It's good to see you guys again. Take care, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.